What's up everyone, welcome back. Patrick here, moving on to the next video. I now wanna talk about three common types of companies that you're gonna run into in this course. That's a manufacturing company, merchandising company, and a service company. And I'm not gonna go into crazy detail in this video or get too specific. Just wanna give you a general overview of how th all three of these companies work. I think it's always helpful to have a general overview before getting into specifics. I think it allows you to file things in your head a little bit more efficiently. So let's start off with a manufacturing company. What happens with a manufacturing company? Well, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go and purchase some raw materials, right, to make a product. So that's usually step one if you have a manufacturing company. And then what's gonna happen is these raw materials, they are gonna go into production. Right, so they go into production, so into some kind of factory, let's say. And then, after production, you finally have a product that you could sell. And then there's a sale, hopefully, and you get a customer. Right, you s so the sale process happens in this arrow, and then the customer ends up with the product, right? So that's the general sort of flow for a manufacturing company. Now, what about with a merchandising company? A merchandising company, they're not making the product. So they're actually just buying the product outright. So for a manufacturing company, this customer here, it could be the end user, but a, this customer here can also be a merchandising company because what merchandising companies do is they just purchase the finished product. Right, so it goes right on their shelves. They don't do this production step here. So they purchase the product, and then they have the product, and then they make a sale. And the customer ends up with the product. So notice here, this production step was missed, right? There's no production going on here. You just purchase the product outright, you have the product, sell it to the customer. And then a service company, basically they don't have a physical product, they're just providing a service. And then they sell that service and they provide that service to a customer, right? So this service can be anything, maybe like an accounting service or a legal service. Basically, there's no like physical product present, right? And that's the three differences between a manufacturing, merchandising, and service company. That's the general flow. And in this course, we're mostly gonna be focusing on manufacturing companies. You're definitely gonna be running into questions dealing with merchandising companies and service companies, but most of your questions are gonna be based on manufacturing companies. And what I'm gonna be doing over the course and over the next few videos is I'm gonna be taking these flowcharts and getting more specific. So kind of like zooming in. So for example, with a manufacturing company, there's a lot more that goes on here in this, uh, for example, production cycle or this arrow as we go from production to the product or as we go from the product to the customer, there's a sale there. There's specific accounts affected, there's specific statements, and so we're just gonna be zooming in. But again, thought I'd give you this high level first so you understand what's going on. And many times you're gonna see me referring to these flowcharts before I start off a certain concept. So again, these are pretty important to have as a base.